What style of salsa do you teach? Hey guys, my name is Alex. I'm your friendly neighborhood director of Toronto Dance Salsa, the largest salsa dance school in Canada. And today's question is, hey, I want to learn with your school, but I'm not sure what style of salsa you teach. So there are three main styles, and then there are sub-styles of salsa. All salsa really originated from Cuba, and it started with Cuban salsa. Cuban salsa is known for doing circles around your partner, around your waist, through what are called breakbacks. Breakbacks is where you take your left foot back and then you take your right foot back. It's a side to side kind of circular rounded dance. The one that we teach is called LA Los Angeles Salsa. What it's known for is the beat that you dance on. See, salsa rises and falls like much of music. So salsa goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then it repeats because salsa has eight beats. LA Salsa, we dance on one. That's what we teach at our school. What it's known for is a slaughter type of dance where you go forward and back and side to side. And what LA Salsa is known for is tricks and turn patterns and dips. If you go on YouTube and you look up salsa performances, quite often what you'll find is LA Salsa. The other type of dance, New York Salsa, or what's called On Two Salsa, is again a slaughter dance. It's also known for its tricks and dips, but you dance under the beat. So if the salsa beat is one, two, three, five, six, seven, you would dance on the two. So you'd go one, two, three, five, six, seven. And so you're stretching out and you're dancing under the accent. The difference is as a leader, for example, with LA salsa on one, the one that we teach, you would go forward on the one, you'd go left, right, left, right, left, right. And the rhythm is quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow on two. And it works like this. As a leader, I would step one and I go back two, three, five, six, seven. So it's slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. Honestly, any dancer who tells you that LA salsa or on one salsa is better than on two salsa or vice versa, they're being silly. The difference between the two major dances you'll find in North America, in fact, if you travel to Asia, if you travel to Europe, is the difference of Fahrenheit and Celsius. It's, it's really how you calculate temperature. They're both very hot dances. We prefer LA Salsa. That's really all there is to it. If you are a brand new dancer and you're trying to figure out which type of dance you want to learn, in my experience, and I've gone to North America and I've traveled quite a bit, LA Salsa is the one that's most accessible in most clubs you travel to, then it would be either Cuban salsa or New York salsa. Either way, all three types of dances are gorgeous. They're fun. You can't go wrong starting with any of them. If you want one that you will run into most often, I would say it would be LA salsa. It's the one that we teach. But again, there's no right dance for you to learn. Ultimately, it's just about connecting to the music, to the people, having fun, being part of a culture and turning off the world as you build some personal confidence. Thank you so much for watching. If you have a question you want me to answer in a later video, please leave it in the comments below. And if you're looking to join our school, then please visit our website at torontodancesalsa.ca. Welcome to the family.